The Cole McCoy Jordan Shipley connection runs a lot deeper than you think. First and ten for Colt McCoy. Going deep here. Shipley got a man beat. Jordan Shipley. Yep. Deeper than that. Cole McCoy and Jordan Shipley was childhood friends, college roommates, fishing and hunting buddies, and the best QB wide receiver combo in the history of Texas Longhorn football. The parallels in their lives are pretty insane, and their connection runs a lot deeper than you may think. How deep? Well, the connection actually began before either of the two were born. Believe it or not, from 1979 to 1983, Colt McCoy's dad, Brad McCoy, and Jordan Shipley's dad, Bob Shipley, both attended Abilene Christian College. Both were on the football team, and yes, they were roommates. Each of them met Colt and Jordan's moms at college. It just gets crazier. So they graduated in 1983, and they ain't waste no time. By December 1985, little Jordan Shipley was born. Nine months later, in 1986, Colt McCoy was born. Now both of their dads, Bob and Brad, went on to become very successful high school football coaches in small towns in Texas. Their sons were good friends, but sometimes had to face off on Friday nights. We talking playoff games, the works. Okay, now some of y'all might remember in the Colt McCoy video that I did, by the way, if you missed that video, check right here. Click that little card, you can go and watch it. In that video, I said that Colt was randomly invited by a friend to a Texas mini camp. The Texas mini camp that ultimately led to him getting a scholarship offer and then going on to make history. That friend was Jordan Shipley. Don't believe me? Here's an excerpt from a written recollection from Colt McCoy himself. It's titled, Get Back Up. Late in my junior year of high school, my buddy Jordan had told me UT was hosting a mini camp and he wanted me to come with him. I've known him since we were kids because our dads went to college together and are both football coaches. Initially, I was on the fence because I had a track meet on the same day as the camp and I had a chance to go to state if I won. I'd also already gotten a handwritten letter from Coach Dennis at Texas A&M offering me a scholarship. There were a few reasons I could have talked myself out of it, but this was Texas, so I had to go. So that Saturday, I woke up early with my dad and we drove over to Burnett where we hopped in a truck with Jordan and his dad and drove up to Austin. So the rest is obviously history. And just like their dads, Colt and Jordan would become college teammates and roommates. But they would take it a step further. As fate would have it, they played two positions that have to be more in sync than any other two positions on the field. One literally can't do his job without the other. Colt McCoy and Jordan Shipley would combine for over 3,000 yards during their college career. Also, individually, Colt has more passing yards than any other Texas Longhorns quarterback ever. Bro, Colt McCoy has three of the top four best Longhorn seasons ever. That's from a passing yard standpoint. He's got four of the best 10 games ever from a passing yard standpoint. Most TDs ever. Most TDs in a season. Most TDs in a game. Oh, his partner, Jordan Shipley? Most Longhorns receptions ever. Most in a single season with 116 catches. Most in a single game. Most receiving yards in a season. Most receiving yards in a game. Second most receiving yards in school history. Second most receiving touchdowns in school history. And the most touchdowns in a single season. These dude wasn't just hype. We talking about making history. But it gets even crazier. Okay, they both entered the 2010 NFL Draft, right? And the two boys from Texas whose dads were college roommates, who rode to the Texas minicamp together, who then also became roommates and broke all the major records for their respective positions, give or take, not only got drafted in the same year, not only did they get drafted in the same round, not only did they go to the same division, to two teams in the same state, not only all of that, but they got drafted back to back, bro. Jordan Shipley was drafted 84th overall by my squad, the Cincinnati Bengals, and Colt McCoy went right behind him at 85 to the Cleveland Browns. Like, you can't write this. Now, neither guy would have the success that they had in college in the NFL, but maybe if they had went to the same team, I'm just saying. One other similarity shared between the two, this time not in such a great way, 
They both had major injury issues. We talked about Colts issues with shoulder, ankle, and a super memorable concussion that James Harrison gave him. Well, Jordan Shipley had a pretty memorable concussion of his own. TJ Ward. Even the two dudes that gave them both concussions play in the same division. One plays for Colts team. It's, it's just so crazy. In 2014, Jordan Shipley retired from professional football. Today, he hosts multiple wildlife hunting shows. You can catch him on the Outdoor Channel. He actually says that this is his dream job as he loves hunting and fishing and now he get paid to do it. Colts still in the league serving as a backup quarterback for the Washington Redskins. These cats are still boys to this very day and their kids will probably be boys and their kids' kids will probably be boys. But before all that, they're little brothers. Now I know you've been waiting on this one that is the most well known and definitely the most talked about similarity. So I was going to get to it. I just wanted to hear some of the other stuff that maybe you didn't know first. For those of y'all that don't know, their little brothers, Case McCoy and Jackson Shipley, also best friends. At this point, I know their dads, Bob and Brad, are planning this, bro. Like, come on, man. Like, y'all having secret meetings or something. Let the rest of us in on it, bro. What's happening? Like, this shit is crazy. Anyway, Case and Jackson were recruited in the fourth grade together. Went to Texas as roommates, played QB and wide receiver. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy. Now, Case McCoy didn't have the most outstanding college football career as he basically served as a backup and split time for the majority of it, but he did manage to crack the top 10 in all-time passing yards and passing touchdowns for Texas. Jackson Shipley, on the other hand, is actually third on the all-time list for receptions at Texas. He's actually only 30 career catches behind his brother. He finished his career with 218 grabs. He's also sixth in the school's history for receiving yards, and he did make it to the league, although he went undrafted. He signed as a free agent, but that didn't really go too far. But the story is crazy, right? Now their dads, Bob and Brad, are still close to this day. And as super grown men with kids and jobs and wives and mad responsibilities, they still see each other once a week, probably to go to Texas games. It's really crazy how these families have made so much history together. Honestly, unbelievable. Anyway, that's all I got for you today, man. Don't forget to subscribe if you're brand new and like the video and share it on social media and help the channel grow. Other than that, I'm going to holler at y'all next time. My name is Flip Mo Raps.